Have you ever received a negative comment that made you question everything or face criticism that made you feel discouraged? If so, you're not alone. I've been there. But here's the thing. Negative comments and criticism are inevitable, especially when you're putting yourself out there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle negative comments and criticism so they don't hold you back. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Philip. And I'm here to help you navigate the ups and downs of content creation with confidence. Negative comments and criticisms can be tough to deal with, but they don't have to derail your journey. Today, I will share some practical strategies to handle negativity in a way that will protect your peace of mind and keep you focused on your goals. All right, let's dive into some strategies that will help you handle negative comments and criticism like a pro. Number one, separate constructive criticism from negativity. What do I mean by this? Not all criticism is bad. In fact, constructive criticism can help you grow. The key is to separate helpful feedback from negativity. If someone offer helpful advice that can help you improve your content, consider it. But if it's just negativity without any constructive input, don't let it get to you. I've been there. I've received negative comments. And at first, as a new content creator, I didn't know how to handle it. But the best way I could think about handling it was to just think of it from a perspective of empathy. Number two, don't take it personally. Remember, negative comments often say more about the person making the comment than about you. Don't take it personally. I know I did when I first started creating content, but once I shift my mind into these strategies that I'm providing you today, my peace of mind hasn't been better than ever. You gotta remember, you're in it for the long term. So your peace of mind is very important. Your mental space, everything. You gotta remember when you first started off, you had joy and don't let anyone steal your joy. So people project their own insecurities and frustrations onto others, especially online when they feel anonymous. Recognize that their words are a reflection of them and not of your worth. I've been in business for 15 years and the last business I owned was a dry cleaner and I was in the customer service business. Right. We provide a service, we serve customers, but you have to understand this. Early on, I didn't understand this and I just felt like every day I had to deal with a customer that was frustrated and their insecurities, their frustration started to pretty much mess up my whole day. Once I implement this strategy and system and I taught it to my wife's upon, life was a lot more peaceful. There's a lot of people that are in the customer service industry. I'm talking to you specifically right now. These strategies also can help you as well. I really want you to understand that. Number one, out of a hundred customers, you might have only one customer complaint, which is a great ratio to have. But you have to keep in mind, what if it's that first customer that walks in and start complaining to you? How do you go about it? How do you handle it? Number one, exactly what I mentioned earlier. Whatever they bring out negativity towards you or give you bad feedback, don't take it personal. Try to understand their situation. Maybe they're having a bad day. Try to show empathy, guys. Try not to take the blame on you. Try to get them out the door as fast as you can because you're going to have other customers walk in and, and you want them out the door. This is a little bit about owning a small business. And it's the same thing with YouTube. What I, why I bring up that example is when you see these comments, if it's something hateful, remove the comment. That's why I'm, I brought up that story about when the first customer come in, you don't want to start off your day bad. Hear them out, get them out the door and move on. If it requires giving them a refund, give them a refund. Encourage them to go to another business because at the end of the day, you don't want those type of customers. It's the same thing with YouTube. You have to understand, separate from good criticism from hateful, okay? I'm just talking about hateful. You want those comments deleted if it's hateful. Now, constructive criticism, I love it. When someone criticizes my business, I take it to heart and try to see from this perspective and try to grow as a business and learn from my mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I know I'm gonna make mistakes creating content on YouTube. 
what it's about letting go of your pride don't take it personally and learn from it i've left constructive criticism on my content you guys can see it and i've learned how to respond to it in a way where i don't take it personally sometimes this person is actually trying to help your channel grow they're calling it out like they see your mistakes i'm an open book putting it out there in front of the world practice empathy and understanding when you encounter negative comments try to practice empathy understand the person behind the comment might be going through something difficult themselves this doesn't excuse bad behavior but it can help you feel less affected by it sometimes a kind response can even turn a negative interaction into a positive one set boundaries and protect your space this is very important if you want to last on youtube long term it's important to set boundaries on your platform you have the right to protect like your you. mental health and the community you're building don't be afraid to delete hateful comments or block users who are consistently negative your space should be one that fosters positivity and growth don't let it get to a point where this person is constantly bullying you and it's the same thing as when people are constantly giving you these negative comments that are very hateful block them it's your platform you can control whether that person can put a negative comment on your channel i am literally losing a lot of hair for you just getting a little bit off topic so if you guys love what you guys are hearing so far i would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and share the content to other people that are wanting to start a youtube channel now let's get back into tip number five focus on the positive feedback for every negative comment there are probably dozens of positive ones don't let the negative voices drown out the support and encouragement you're receiving focus on the positive feedback and let it remind you why you're doing what you do keep the encouraging comments front and center as a source of motivation sometimes we allow these negative comments to overwhelm the positive comments that we are receiving or sometimes we're not receiving any comments and then we we just say to ourselves oh man the content's not not doing well look guys stop focusing what's going on in the present you have to understand that over time your content is going to improve stop being hard on yourself i've been there when i post out content i'm not getting comments and i remind myself of these strategies that develop a thick skin building a thick skin doesn't happen overnight guys. but with time and experience you will find negative comment bother you less and less the more you put yourself out there the more you realize you can't please everyone and that's okay stay true to your vision and just let the criticism roll off your back so if you feel personally that you don't have a thick skin understand it will take time turn criticism into motivation that will actually help you like develop a thick skin okay because you're channeling that negativity into motivation use criticism as fuel to keep going instead of letting it discourage you let it motivate you to prove the naysayers wrong every successful creator has faced criticism but they didn't let it stop them neither should you turn that negativity into a drive to succeed this brings me back my first time starting a business i was dealing with my friends wanted to go clubbing go out this and that and my priorities was just growing my donut business i was hearing from people that look where are you i never see you this and that and at the time, I couldn't really find the balance of hanging out with my friends and, and, and just being in a monk mode of just focusing on our business. You've got to understand, at that time, our business, when we purchased it, wasn't making money. So I had to turn a business from unprofitable to profitable. And that required dealing with, with criticism, bro. Like... Why, why did you buy this business? It's not making money. Those people that were criticizing me, I was using it as motivation. Use that as fuel because that donut business right. went from negative cash flow to positive cash flow. These strategies that I'm telling you today really help as a young entrepreneur to succeed. You got to realize the stats are 50% of businesses go out of business. Here's a bonus. 
I know, you, I know you're looking at the analytics, number one, and you're seeing the fact that you're losing subscribers and you're gaining subscribers. And sometimes when you look at the analytics too long, it's discouraging. Change your thought process. Instead of asking yourself, why did I lose seven subscribers this week? Ask your skill, why didn't you gain 21 subscribers this week? What I mean by this is, why are you asking yourself, why aren't you gaining more subscribers than you are losing subscribers? And ask yourself, why is this even happening in the first place? Change your mindset. Stop focusing on the negativity, using it as motivation to say, hey, I need to probably pivot, change my content into something else. Um, honestly, why I made a shift in my content. I want it to be more or less about me and more about how I could bring value value to you. Handling negative comments and criticism is part of the journey, but it doesn't have to be a roadblock. By separating constructive feedback from negativity, not taking things personally, and focus on the positive, you can keep moving forward with confidence. Remember, your voice matters, and no amount of criticism should silence it. Now that you know how to handle negative criticism and comments, let's make sure you're avoiding some of the common pitfalls that new content creators face. Click here to watch the next video common mistakes new youtubers make and how to avoid them where i'll help you to start strong and stay on the right path thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video